All right, qualifying event number four making its way out onto the track. It is going to be David Schilling with the 20S on the front row. On the outside is going to be the Pierce 32. That's the Kaus 827, and the Menti 24P is row number two. Row three, Gedman with the 18J, and we've got uh, Brady Gill all the way from the north country with the number 51 outside row number three. And then it looks like the uh, seven of David Herrick will have the uh, number 59. That's the slot back car alongside him. And then finally... Rounding out the field should be the Coons, number 29. That would be Bob Coons out of Mechanicville. So that will be the field here for qualifying event number four of five. Again, eight laps the distance. Top four qualify for the Sunflower 50 race for a cause, but they all have to redraw. All right, so Jacob Lappin is doing the flagging. Joe Chris is doing the umpiring, so to speak, hanging in there behind him. So Jacob, our junior flagger for the day, doing a great job waving the silks here on the front stretch. Gets ready to send this one on its way. Oh, and there's a the big one. Well, I guess we'll have to try that one more time from the top. It looks like I think just about everybody's going to be able to roll away. The last car that needed to be fired up was the uh, Menti number 24P. That is Mike Monty with that number 24P, the JJP slip form and concrete car out of Ken and Jahiri. So the field's starting to line back up. And something that sort of resembles the lineup here. White flag is waved, so we'll try to start one more time when they get down here into the start zone in turn four. Good launch for the field as they head down into turns one and two. Everybody keeps it straight this time off turn number two. Whoa, and as I say that, they're three wide, and Gil dives through the middle and jumps up into the number three spot. Schilling leads. Monty is second. Gil coming from a couple of rows back now up into the number three position, followed by that number 32 of Pierce rolling in fourth. Oh, and Pierce just spun out of a transfer spot, and it's going to get hung up on the top edge of the track, bringing out the caution flag, and actually getting hung up on the top of the track is something new. If you were uh, here with us last year, you'll notice that some banking has been added to this racetrack. Field will go ahead and line back up, double file here. Two laps complete in our fourth qualifying heat. under green. Schilling leads them off turn number two. And we've got the Coons 29 tangled up with the 519 of uh, Slotbeck. And it looks like Slotbeck will head into the pit area. And I believe we'll go with the two cautions on the same lap rule equals a single file restart. Following the same procedure as you would see at most racetracks here in the Capital District. And while 
while we're under this caution flag, looks like trouble for Mike Montes, number 24. I don't know if that cart threw a chain. Looks like that might be the case. One to go signal is going to come up here for the field. He's going to be able to continue. He's getting the helmet off down there in the infield, unfortunately. So we'll come around here. We'll get the one to go signal. So Jacob waving the white silks at everybody. Next time around, we'll get this one back underway again with two laps complete. The back works their way off turn number four. Back to the green. Schilling leads it. Gill in second. Gill with the nose down to the inside as they come down into turn number three. Leader gets turned around. And Schilling will pull it down into the infield as the yellow flag waves. And Gill with the 51. It's going to voluntarily head back to the tail of the field and just kind of nod in his head like, yeah. That was my bad. Sorry about that. And David's going to say, how do you do? That was kind of an aw shucks kind of moment right there. Now, the question is to see if those two are going to be able to get back into transfer spots because we're still only on lap two. So we'll come back around here looking for the green. Oh, look at Schilling trying to drive around the outside. Oh! Not for nothing, but that may have been a little bit of racing karma right there. I mean, they're out there, they're racing, but they're also having fun, so I'm sure Dave's like, darn it. Looks like the front end of the cart's okay, though. All right, so we'll go one to go here. We're still on lap number two, so you haven't missed anything. All right, your brand new leader now is the Getman 18J. And right now it is the 827 of Callis that sits in the final transfer spot. Coons trying to make a move for that as they go into turn number three. And Coons going to try to do it the long way around on the outside. And here comes Gill and Schilling. And they're loaded for Baron Schilling is again off the track and out in the uh, flowers in turn number two. And what started off as a fairly benign heat race has become a rather eventful one for the Schilling number 20. And the competitors in this one definitely get in their restart practice, and I think something may be broken on Schilling's card. He'll take it over pit side. So, again, it is uh, the 18J that is holding on to the lead. That is Joe Getman. He's from uh, Lafargeville, so he's another North Country person like uh, Brady Gill is. We've got a few of them represented here in this Northeast Mod Predator car class today. Getting ready to come back to the green with three laps complete. And Getman will hit the throttle. And the number seven back there in the second position, that should be the... Uh, David Herrick, number seven. The 32 rolling up into the third spot. That is going to be the Pierce, number 32. And now the caution waves again. Ah, I see. We may have had somebody pick the throttle up just a wee bit early. Now, you can see that uh, Brady Gill has worked his way back into the final transfer spot with the 51. 
He, too, has had a uh, rather eventful, shall we say, heat race. And now Gill will sweep down to the inside. And Pierce take over that number three spot. Now here comes the Coons machine. That's Bob Coons with that orange number 29 to, trying to draw in on Pierce here for the final transfer spot. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, it is Joe Getman holding on to the advantage as he comes to the white flag. And he's holding about a two-card length advantage as the field finally gets to string out and log some laps to come to the checkers. So Getman gets the win. David Herrick finishes in second. Third spot goes to Brady Gill. And then the uh, Pierce number 32 comes away with the fourth position. That is T.J. Pierce who will qualify for tonight's Sunflower 50 Race for a Cause.